Wow. How is it? You asked for a haircut. I didn't ask for a <laughs> lawnmower on my head. Sorry. It was an accident. We didn't mean to go this short. A lot of people are saying, Barry, you need a haircut. I oblige, I did need a haircut. I wanted it a bit shorter anyway, and with the lockdown, uh, we had to get some hair clippers from my mum, which she uses on her dogs. <laughs> they are human ones though, right? Yeah. We washed them and oiled them. Uh, so Mrs. Barry, this is love, I trust you. Please, can you cut my hair? Mm-hmm. And? And I did. I normally have a number three on the sides. Yep. Uh, you had all the clippers, one to eight, lined up. Come in. Yep. You get the one Started. bit. Started. And I said, you sure you have a number three? Because I can see your scalp. I can see your scalp. When you said that, where the alarm bells were ringing. I'm like, I'm no, you I can't normally see my scalp. I looked at the wrong number. I thought it yes. was a number three, but it was a number one. So I have got <laughs> a number one, apart from the mohawk, because I did put out on Twitter the, the little bit of progress pictures and people saying, keep it. I have no idea how to style a mohawk. It was an accident. I did try and like blend it in at the back, but it just ended up with a line around your head like you had a bowl on there. <laughs> I would have like remember the 90s the bowl cut would have been fine but to be honest the reaction was actually quite positive and I've only it's this, this was last night it did look a little bit at first like um, the dumber and dumber <laughs> I should have kept that um, so we don't know what to do and if I was going to cut it this short I would have tried to raise some money for the charity or something like that but hey um, it's, it's hair it'll grow back uh, I might you can wear a hat I can I think it looks nice though right you're never going to get another chance to try out this kind of haircut again. No, no that's very true. <laughs> Blimey. He's like, I feel like I don't even know you anymore. Oh, gosh. Don't spend the whole video doing that. No, I'm not. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, that's it. Just walk away. Reason for divorce? Haircut. I mean, that's before. It was pretty messy. I'm not going to lie. It was my channeling my inner Doc Brown, but it doesn't matter. Um, it has been quite the strange night. <laughs> this playlist uh, today is a, a Barry Tries video where I tries uh, well-known recipes from blogs, uh, chefs, famous folks, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and it's also kind of mingled with my retro recipe series because this one, uh, here's a recipe card right here from the contemporary cooking book, McCall's Great American Recipe Card Collection, Ham and Bananas Hollandaise. Can you see that? It looks like a little row of soldiers like covered in sauce and ham. And the reason I really wanna do this one is because I actually genuinely think this could be quite nice. My nan Doris, who uh, sadly passed away, who was literally my best friend uh, in the whole wide world, not only would she be in shock at my hairstyle, but she would love a banana sandwich. And that fascinated me as a kid, that whole thing of, you know, the fruit of a banana with the saltiness, she would like lash butter on it and with the bread. And I actually had some and I really liked it. Whereas this dish gets baked with hollandaise and ham wrapped around the bacon with mustard as well. So I'm really interested to see if we can make this work. And I think I'm gonna like it. So let's crack on. First thing I need to do is get myself oh, a baking dish like this. Hopefully that'll fit in our temporary oven. Yes, it fits. Boom, Cinderella. All right, we uh, need some bananas. Uh, this is basically the raft that the bananas are going in. So I'm just greasing the dish. Ugh, all right, nice. And then you take your bananas. Oh, isn't there a way that monkeys peel bananas? They do it from that end, not that end. Whoa. And you lay the banana into the dish like so. <laughs> To be fair, this way of peeling a banana does work quite well. I always got to take the nasty bit off the end though. I don't like that bit. Oh, in that goes. Look at that, that looks amazing. Uh, the next step is to actually uh, sprinkle each banana with a little bit of lemon juice to stop it darkening. Um, as it was pancake day quite recently, we've got some of the uh, Jif uh, lemon juice in a bottle rather than from a fresh lemon, which seems to be really hard to get hold of in the lockdown. Yeah, this stuff, so. Uh... Gonna shimmy that on there. I'll just roll it around to make sure it's covered completely in that. All right, so they're fairly covered. <laughs> nice. All right, so the next step is to spread ham slices with mustard. And the mustard is prepared mustard. The only thing I could find, I've never heard of it as prepared mustard before. And I understand that prepared mustard is basically the mustard that you buy uh, in a store. So mustard. So we spread the mustard on the ham and then wrap each banana in the ham. 
Okay. I've got some sheets of ham here and I've got enough because they're quite long to wrap the entire banana. But if you look at this, it's actually like, no, just wrap some of me. I want people to know that I'm a banana. Look at that. So it's just down the middle. Whenever I'm using meat like ham, these guys get very excited. Okay, <laughs> just figuring out the right way to do this. Um, yes. So I'm gonna use some English mustard. Nice kick in that. Oh, that has got one heck of a stench. Yes. And we take a banana and then we roll it. <laughs> We're rolling the banana in the mustard drenched ham. Look at that. That's something you don't see every day. And then in the dish, I'm gonna do the same. Two, other three. Boom. <laughs> I'm not sure if it matters, but I've tried to sit them seam side down when it comes to the ham. Uh, I should have pre in my oven, so let's do that. Okay, so our temporary oven is, wow, angry. Uh, 200C non-fan, 180 c with a fan, 400 degrees F, boom. And this is gonna be baked for 10 minutes. Ah, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'll tell you what is gonna happen. Mrs. B is gonna be tasting this recipe as a punishment but I do have high hopes for this. The oven has just preheated. It's going in for 10 minutes at first. It's already started the timer a little bit, but hey, what's a few seconds between friends? See you in a minute. That thing is starting to smell amazing. The smell of the mustard, oh, is good. I guess the bananas are gonna soften up a little bit and it's telling us to coat it and drench it and then bake it again in a hollandaise sauce. Now, hollandaise sauce from scratch with butter and eggs is really nice to make, but it's, uh, it's telling me to use um, a sachet mix. Well, not one, two, and this is from the 70s, so I hope sachet mixes are still the same. I've only ever once in my life used a sachet mix before, and that was when I was at secondary school, did cooking then, and it was for a sausage casserole. But if you go into the aisle and you pick all these ones up, there's like loads of sauces, there's cheats and hacks, and I'm sure for my 4321 videos, it could come in quite handy. Um, and all you'd normally do is add milk, except this is telling me, in true 70s style, to add cream. Oh, all right, it's got auto shut off. No. Oh wow, it doesn't look much different, but it smells insane. Well, actually it's not that much cream. This is a saucepan uh, with one cup of water, which is about 220 mils. And then we only need about 60 mil of cream. Another good squirt of the lemon juice. There's a lot of lemon running through this. And last but not least, one, two of the uh, hollandaise mixes. So you'd hope there's some sort of buttery egg vibe going on in there. Give this a little mix around, just initially. Get it all used to each other, and then we're gonna heat it up. So I'm gonna switch to a whisk and a hob, like this. So it's like a double strength uh, hollandaise sauce mix than you would make normally, but with more water than cream. So I wonder if this is gonna help it thicken better. Because that's all I'm doing, I'm bringing it up to a simmer, and then we're gonna pour it over the other stuff. Oh my gosh. It's bubbling around the sides and that's thickened up massively. I'm gonna take this off the heat pretty much now. Look at that. Wow, yeah, that'll do. Oh, the stench of the mustard is amazing. So I've transferred that sauce and I'm dripping it all over <laughs> oh, my table. Transferred it to a jug to make this bit easier but apparently we just drenched the bananas in it. Oh, I can see how much it's thickened up, but apparently we did want it like that. It's almost got like a processed cheese kind of look, hasn't it? All right, so uh, <laughs> this is going back in. Um, well, apparently we can try and get it golden brown, so we might give that a go. Should be only about five minutes or so. I really don't know. All right, it's actually been in there for, <laughs> it's been in there for about 12 minutes now. It's not browning, but the hollandaise is clinging to the ham and the bananas. And I feel like I might stop now and leave it so it does kind of not go golden brown on top, but holds true to what we are trying to try. So let's get it out. Oh, I will say, the smell is a lot more banana-y now. Like a waft of cooked ham and bacon as well, saltiness in the air. Dinner is served. Yeah. Phoebe wouldn't like this, but you have quite an interesting range of taste buds. You might be able to do it. Yeah. You wanna try it? All right, you're definitely trying this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what's gonna happen. Oh, oh look at that. Amazing. I'm gonna cut 
Oh my gosh, that's so soft. We're going to cut little discs so we can each get a little bit of everything. There's a lot of mustard there, are you sure? Yeah. Really? I just want to try the ham. You both go at the same time, yeah. Take one of the discs out. That's it. So that's banana, ham, mustard, hollandaise. <laughs> Do you want to come in? <laughs> Um, that smells really strong. Eat this. You're gonna eat the That's ham. That's the one I'm gonna eat. Alright, try that. Wow. How is it? Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, Amy, right Amy got it. Did she get it? Yeah. There you go. Oh my, it's got mustard on it. <laughs> Amy. Amy. Don't eat that, mate. Oh my yeah. gosh. Right, what do you think? That's surprisingly. It's nice. That's surprisingly nice. Is it? Yeah, you've got like the sweetness of the banana. Yeah. And then the ham and the must. I like it. I thought it might be okay. It sounded horrendous at first. Mm. Contemporary cooking from the 70s. I thought it was going to be awful, but actually. Yeah. It's not bad. All right, let's have a go too. So. It's actually quite. So we're just eating the ham. It's just eating the ham with the mustard. You like the mustard? No, it's got the quite ham, mustard. Strong. It is, mate. It should be. Oh. <laughs> Is that a bit of mustard? Oh. oh. I quite like it. You had quite a bit of mustard there, Chloe, didn't you? Yeah. Would you like to go and get you a drink? The edge of the banana has been taken off it. It's yeah. almost like it becomes more of a potato. It's like that sweet and savoury combination that yeah. you know, always... It's, sweet it's nice. There's not That's a saltiness like to it too much. You get the ham that's is delicate. The mustard has just kind of been absorbed by the hollandaise. And even you liked it, Chloe, didn't you? Yeah, I loved it. And even Amy liked it. <laughs> she wants some more, look at that. Well, there we go. That's another Barry Tries in the bag. Um, sorry about the haircut, folks. Um, although some of you on social media like it. I can't do anything about it other than serve my family as a punishment, something that they like. Oh, that's <laughs> if you would like to have a Barathon now, check out the rest of the Barry Tries. We've done some Roald Dahl recipes. We've done some Tasty recipes. We've done some Gordon Ramsay recipes. We've done loads on there. Have a Barathon. Any others to add to the playlist, let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you very soon. Bye. Bye. Check your level player. No matter what your style, the kitchen for me. Simon's moustache, goatee, maybe all three. You okay, girl? Yeah, did you like that? Look at that tail wagon. Wow. Nice.